Okay, for this question, we are going to sketch an example of the graph of a function so that we have these three limits. And let's look at the first one right here. We have to have the limit as x approaching 0 of the function to be negative infinity. And look at this right here does not have plus or minus. That means both directions, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and just come with the graph along the way. Here is, of course, when x is equal to 0. And when x is approaching 0, that's safe on the left-hand side the graph has to go straight down, right? So it looks like this, okay? And similarly, when you are going towards the roof on the right-hand side, and the function will go like this, somewhat like this, right? So it must be this kind of situation. Of course, you can like, extend it, but up to you. Now, for the second piece of the information, it says when x is approaching negative infinity, well, our limit is equal to 5. So I will have to indicate that, okay, let's say this right here is 5. In that case, we'll just extend it so that you see when x is going all the way toward the left, this right here is going to be flat and you'll end up with a horizontal asymptote like this. So that's pretty much the idea. And when we have the limit as x approaching positive infinity, well, we actually end up with negative 5. So perhaps I should make this a little bit smaller. Let's say this is negative 5 right here. Well, I'll just do that something like this. So here is my negative 5, and I'll just do the graph like this. So that's pretty much it. And again, this is just an example. If you would like, you can go up and then fly out. That's fine too, but I think this is okay. It's an example of the graph of the function so that it has all these conditions. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. All right, so here we go. For the first one, it says... The limit as x approaching 2, and notice that there it does not have the plus or minus, so that means both directions. And we will end up with negative infinity for the limit, right? So let's say I'm going to label this right here to be the 2, and most likely, you know, from the left-hand side and right-hand side, I will just have like negative infinity goes down like this, and likewise for that. And yes, we will have a vertical asymptote, so perhaps if you like, you can also draw the vertical dash line to make it slightly more you know, clear or whatsoever. Yeah? So this is just a quick sketch. Then for the second one, it says, when x is approaching positive infinity, well, in fact, we get positive infinity. So this part is not going to be flattening out, right? So it's actually going to be like, you know, growing, growing, growing. So it's almost like a natural log function like this. So just make sure that, you know, just extend it like this. And, hmm, let's do this one first. Because this right here is going all the way to the left. But here we have 0 plus and 0 minus to look over. When we have the limit as x approaching 0 plus, and again this is 0, 0 plus is almost, you know, at 0, we will end up with past infinity. Hmm. Well, we will have a vertical asymptote right here again. But this time, this is like inverse, this is, this is like original tangent. What you do is, okay, you're just going to go, but you have to make sure you go up infinity like this and of course i don't know like where does this start curving up i don't know because i don't have inf enough information but this right here is good enough and we also look at this when x is approaching zero minus we get negative infinity so i will start with like something like this right and lastly when x is approaching negative infinity we get zero so that's the horizontal asymptote right here so i will just go like this ah very pretty huh like this. Yeah. Okay, for this question, we are going to give an example of the function so that it has all these conditions. So here we go. Let's see how we can make the graph. And of course, we start with the first one. And we have the limit as x approaching infinity of the function. It should be 3, right? So that means we will have a horizontal asymptote. And let's say this right here is my 3, like this. And in the meantime, in fact, I should also look at the other ones because notice that right here it says you know, we're talking about 2. This is 2 minus, we should actually look at the 2 plus first. So, if we look at when x is at 2, well, when we are approaching 2 from the right-hand side, this right here is negative infinity. So, that means we actually have a vertical asymptote like this. So, that means we will have to go down and then we have to become flat like this, right? So, I will just draw the graph like this for you guys. And this will satisfy both conditions, this one and also this one. And if you would like, you can go up and then come back down. That's fine, but don't do anything too crazy, all right? So this right here is pretty much it. Then for this one, 
when x is approaching 2 from the left hand side, you see this is past the infinity, so that means the function is going straight up, so I will do the graph like this, right? Some, somewhat like that. Then, lastly, it says function right here is odd. What does this mean? Well, I will give you guys an example first. We know that x cubed is odd, not only because the 3 is uh, an odd power, there's a connection, but the picture-wise is that if you have x cubed that goes like this, but it also goes down like that, right? Whatever you have on the right-hand side, you will have to rotate it 180 degrees, and that will become the left-hand side. Similarly, if you would like, you can also talk about, uh, I don't know, sign, like this. It's also odd. If you rotate it 180 degrees, you just kind of put this down like this. So that's an odd function if you look at the picture for that. Well, the best way for me to demonstrate how we can do this is that first, allow me to just go ahead and I will extend this to zero because it's much easier once you touch zero, right? And I have a picture for you guys already. So this right here is pretty much this. And what I'm going to do is, just as I said, I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. And that will be the left hand side graph. Right? So, in fact, you have the positive 3 horizontal asymptote. On the left hand side, you will have a negative 3 horizontal asymptote. Right? So, I will just try my best to produce this on the board for you guys, and that's pretty much it. So, we have this part, and then also you have the vertical asymptote when you are at negative 2. You have to be careful with that. So, we will also have something like this. So again, you take this and you just flip that, and the picture will look like this. Right? So that's pretty much the idea. And lastly, this part is going to be like this. You just kind of connect it. And you have it like that. So that's it, right? Um, sometimes it's hard to imagine. In that case, just go ahead and draw it on a piece of paper and literally rotate it. Then you see what you should have on the left-hand side for the graph. So. By the way, the technical term for this is that an odd function is symmetrical about the origin, meaning that you just take this, rotate 180 degrees, and you should get the left-hand side graph.